everybody hates meetings, especially ones that suck, that uh, aren't well-structured, that don't get to the point, that don't help to solve issues and move projects forward. And I'm going to help you with that today because in today's Construction Genius solo episode, I'm going to outline a meeting for a project executive to have with a project manager that ties in the project that the PM's working on with the larger strategic goals of the organization. I use a simple analogy, an inverted triangle, to help you to picture how the point of the triangle, the tip of it, which is the particular project that a PM is working on, relates to the broader goals and vision, the base of the triangle that the company has. So check out this episode. It's a very short, punchy one. There's uh, plenty of show notes to help you to think through how you're going to use this as you are leading the project managers in your organization. And let's dive right in. This is Eric Anderton, and you're listening to Construction Genius, a leadership masterclass. Thomas Edison said that genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. If you're a construction leader, you know all about the perspiration, and this show is all about the 1% inspiration that you can add to your hard work to help you to improve your leadership. Look, don't take this the wrong way, but if your check-ins with your project managers aren't strategic, you're just wasting your time. And this is specifically for project executives or maybe operations managers who have project managers reporting to them. And those bi-weekly or weekly check-ins, they're not really about status updates. They're more about alignment. Picture this meeting as the tip of an inverted triangle. At the narrow point, you're drilling into the project details but each of these meetings should connect straight back to the company's big picture goals, the base of the triangle. So let's break down exactly how to make these meetings strategic, productive, and valuable. The purpose of the meeting, from narrow to broad, if you think this is just another check-in, you're missing the point. Here's the goal an organized direction moving forward. This isn't just a project review, it's setting clear actions and expectations that align with the bigger vision of the organization. Every decision here should feed into profitability, client satisfaction, and the reputation of the company. We're going beyond the immediate issues to see how each piece fits into the broader strategy. When should you have this meeting and where should you have it? And how long should it be? In my mind, I think Tuesdays or Wednesdays are a great time for this meeting. And you want to keep it tight, 30 to 60 minutes, and hold it somewhere formal like a conference room. The space signals that this isn't a casual check-in, but a high-level, serious alignment session between project executive and project manager that requires both of them to pay full attention. Let's talk about preparation. It's all about connecting the dots. And here's a hard truth. If you're not prepared for this meeting, then it's a total waste of time. Both the project executive and the PM need to come ready, not just with updates, but with insights that tie daily activities to big picture goals. So for the project executive, they need to look over project schedules and scorecards, but then go deeper and ask themselves how each project drives bigger goals like profitability or client satisfaction. For the project manager, they need to bring a critical review of the CPM schedule with prioritized issues. Don't just show up with problems. They need to show up with each part of the project from labor to resources, clearly connected to the company's larger objectives. And this mindset builds in strategic thinking and helps them to see beyond just the project they're working on. Would you like to change your life for less than $20? The way to do that is to buy my book and read it. Uh, it's $19.99 on Amazon, and I promise you, if you're a construction leader, this book will change the way that you lead. It'll change the way that you look at sales and marketing and strategy, and it will help you tremendously to be more successful as a leader. So there's a link in the show notes to go buy the book, get yourself a copy. You won't regret it. 
And now let's get back to talking about how to run effective meetings. Now, let's talk about the structure of the discussion. You've got to draw the line from project to vision. So, are you ready to make this meeting happen? Here are a series of questions that you can ask that start at the project level but lead into the bigger strategy. So let's talk about project priorities. The question, what are the immediate tasks that drive client expectations and profitability? Risks. What risks do you see and how could they impact our client relationships or reputation? Risk mitigation. How are you planning to tackle these risks? And is that approach aligned with our standards? Resources. Are you set on labor and equipment or do you have gaps? Align your resources to stay on track with profitability. Productivity adjustments. Are there changes you need to boost efficiency and client satisfaction? How do these tie to our company standards? Workload balance. Are you managing everything effectively or are we burning our people out? It's about building a high-performing, sustainable culture that supports our values. These are the types of questions project executives should be asking project managers at each of these one-on-one -on -one sessions. So you need to avoid pitfalls. You need to keep it strategic. And the big surprise is what you don't discuss matters just as much as what you do discuss in these meetings. If you want this meeting to stay sharp and strategic, here's what to skip. No spewed out two week look aheads. This isn't the place to go over every task. Save that for other meetings. Here, it's high level alignment, keeping the project priorities tied to the bigger company strategy. No glossing over issues. If there's a problem that could affect clients or strategy, you've got to tackle it. This is about transparency and solving problems before they escalate. As PX, you must demand follow through. PXs are leaders, not babysitters. If you're seeing the same issues week after week, it's time to reassess and confront the project manager about not dealing with those issues. Consistent action keeps folks aligned and moving forward. Finally, the follow-up to these one-on-ones, reinforcing the broader vision. Think a great meeting ends when you walk out, you know that's not the case. Follow up by summarizing everything. This is what PXs need to do. In an email, tie every priority back to the company's larger goals. Check on progress and see how outcomes contribute to client retention, brand reputation, and profitability. Remember, this isn't just a meeting. It's an investment in your team's strategic alignment. Project executives need to master these types of meetings with their project manager. And when you treat these meetings as the point of that inverted triangle, they become more than just updates. Every decision, every conversation connects back to the company's broader vision. This approach keeps your team aligned with the big picture. Stick with this perspective and you'll see a team that doesn't just complete projects, they drive the company's long-term profitability and success. Thank you for listening to today's episode. Hope you found it useful. Feel free to share it with people that you think would benefit from listening in terms of helping them to run more effective meetings one-on-one -on -one between project executives and project managers. I'll catch you on the next episode. Thank you for listening to this episode of Construction Genius. Hope you found that 1% of inspiration to help you in the next few days. If you like the show, please give us a five-star review on iTunes, share it with other construction leaders who you think would benefit, and always remember that the show is brought to you by Kick-Ass Meetings. I've been working with construction leaders since 2004, teaching them how to run extremely effective problem-solving meetings that gets their people collaborating, taps into their creativity, and to get yourself a free copy of the Kick-Ass Meeting Report, go to www.ericanderton.com slash kickassmeetings. Grab yourself that free report, read it, use it in your business. You'll find it extremely useful. And thanks again for listening.